Let Wheel Colors project allows us to practice using if, elif, else structures. In the gambling game of roulette, there is a board of numbers with colors being red or black. And our job is to create an application that allows the user to enter a number and be told whether that number is red or black on the American roulette board. For numbers 1 through 10, the odd numbers are red and the even numbers are black. Numbers 11 through 18 is reversed. The black numbers are odd and the red numbers are even. Then from 19 through 28, we go back to odd numbers being red and even numbers being black. 29 through 36, the odd numbers are black and the even numbers are red. And then finally, there's a number 0, which is green. And here's a sample of what that program should look like to give some information about the game. Ask the user to enter a number. So they enter 5. They are told the number 5 is red. That's our output. So 5 would be our input. There is a restriction here. We have to use if, elif, and else. Or we can use ternary conditions. And while this would be easier to do with arrays, we haven't talked about arrays yet. So we're kind of doing the, this program the hard way. But it's a great practice to use if, elif, and else. So that's your task. I suggest you pause the video here and try this on your own. And if you get stuck, come back and pick up the video here and I will show you my solution as I do a code review. Here's my code review of my solution of the Roulette Wheels color project in Python. I start the print statement of the title, print statement for the developer, and the print, print statement with the triple quote formatted lines or the carriage returns of what this project will do. Here's our input. We're going to ask the user to enter a roulette number between 0 and 36. We want to convert that from a string to an integer and put in a variable called num. I have a very, another variable called even, which is going to set the true. And my color, I'm going to set to red. Those are just simply default values. Now, I need to determine if, the, if this number that the user entered is even or odd. So I use an if statement. If num modulus 2, so our percent sign 2, modulus 2 gives us the remainder of an integer division is not equal to 0. So think about it. If we take 4 and divide by 2, the remainder would be 0. But if we take 5 divided by 2, the remainder would be 1. And so if it's not 0, then that number is odd. And then I'm going to set the even to false. So I've set it by true by default. Here I set it to false. Now I could have done an if else here. Didn't need to. I could have said if num% 2 is not 0, even is false, else even is true. Either way works. Now I need to determine the color. So if num is equal to 0, my color is going to be green. Elif. This is an else if. If that is true, none of this happens. But if the number is not 0, we're going to test to see if it's greater than or equal to 1, and it's less than or equal to 10, and it's even. And if that's the case, I'm going to set the color to black. Now again, I could have done an, uh, another one here to see if it was odd and set it to red, but I've already set my color to red. That's my default. I only need to change it if it's not red. Elif, num is greater than or equal to 11, and num is greater than or equal to 18 and it's not even so here I'm using a double complex of and and not even so if it's not even meaning that's false so not even be true my color is black again if the number is greater than 18 the next elif would be checked if num is greater than or equal to 19 and it's less than or equal to 28, and again it's even, set the color to black. Now if it's greater than 28, it'll do the next elif. Num is greater than or equal to 29, and it's less than or equal to 36, and it's not even, so it's an odd number, we're going to set the color to black. Else, just as a default, we have to have an else here, color equals red. This would still set the color to red, even if we hadn't done it up here. Output results. If num is less than 0 or num is greater than 36, we're going to print that it's an invalid number that they entered. And it must be in the range of 0 to 36. Else, 
we're going to print the number placeholder 0 is placeholder 1. That's a literal string. And we're going to use the dot format to put num, the value of num, into the placeholder 0 and the value of color into placeholder 1. Let's run this and see if it works. So I'm going to enter a value of 15. And I'm told that number is black. Let's run it again. Let's try 36. That number is red. 14 is red. 26 is black. And ideally what you want to do is really try all 36 numbers plus 0. So I do enter 0 here. I'm told the 0 is green. And if I try a number that's outside of that range, let's just try 37. Invalid number entered must be in the range of 0 to 36. And the same thing would occur if I tried, say, a minus 1. So that's our program. Lots of ways you can do this. This is simply my approach, I'm trying to make it very simple and just looking at the green and black values and everything else being red. So remember, the value of an if, elif, else is that once one of these forks is true, one of these expressions, num is equal to zero, or num is greater than or equal to one, and num is less than or equal to 10, and even. Once one of those Boolean expressions is true, it ignores everything after that as far as the if, elif, else structure. But if none of those are true, it's going to do the else. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.